Greetings and welcome to an updated and easier guide to Sunstrom, a tool that you can use to downgrade your iOS devices to an older version without SHSH blobs. Please keep in mind that this will only work on iPhone 10 and lower, meaning A11 and lower devices. So I am at the GitHub page of Sunstrom. First of all, click on code and download the zip file to your computer. I have already done so. If you scroll down, you can check out that here are the requirements and dependencies that are required to get it up and running. These are the links to the source code of the dependencies if you want to compile them yourself. Now to get you started, you will have to follow this written guide. Now scroll down to dependencies. Now scroll down here. So first of all, you will have to install brew or homebrew. Simply you will have to copy this command. Open a new terminal and simply right click and paste. Press enter. Put your login password and this will install homebrew. Just press enter. Now when the installation is successful, we can move to the second step. Just copy this command. Open a terminal, right click, paste, press enter. Now when this step is complete, we can move further. Now scroll down and use this third command. Just copy it and paste it in the terminal and press enter. With this done, we will move to the other dependencies that are required to run this tool. Simply download this rex.zip provided to you via a link double click it and you will get this folder this folder contains all the dependencies that are required and this comes with all the source code of the dependencies with all the links if you want to compile them yourself now to install them simply open a terminal type mv and drag the bin folder into the terminal put a slash shift asterisk slash user slash local slash bin and press enter now again type mv drag the lib folder into slash asterisk slash usr slash local slash lib press enter and we are done at the same dependency page if you scroll down you will see that you will need python 3 simply download python from here simply click this button Once downloaded, double click and install this package and the installation is successful. The last step is to install the pip dependencies for Sunstrom. Now simply cd into the Sunstrom directory that you have downloaded in step 1 and drag it into a terminal. Press enter. Now simply copy this command and paste it here and press enter. And this will automatically install all the pip3 dependencies for you. Next guys, you will need the IPSW for the firmware you want to downgrade to. I want to downgrade this iPhone 6 to 11.3 and you will need the latest blob file. The blob can be of any version, be it the latest version. You can check it out that this iPhone 6 is currently on 12.5.5. Now to get the IPSW, we will use IPSW.me website. Now select your device. So for me, it's an iPhone 6. Scroll down and download the IPSW for your device. So I want to downgrade to 11.3. So I will download the 11.3 IPSW. Scroll down and simply download it to your computer. 
also please note the identifier and to get the board config you can simply click device information and here you will find the board config for your device please note down the identifier and board config we will be needing it later now guys put your device into recovery mode and open the tss server website now simply click this logo about this mac system report usb and then click apple mobile device and get the ec id from here right click copy now click on retrieve right click and paste now click submit open link now you can check it out that i want to downgrade to 11.3 but i do not have the 11.3 blob right here so i will use the latest saved blob that is for 12.5.5 open the link and download one of the blob from here i have already done so also guys if you see a 404 error and you did not save even the latest blob for that purpose you can use blob saver simply connect your device or usb click read from device and click auto save to tss saver or shsh host or you can save them locally and use them simply click go and it will start saving the blobs all right the latest blobs are now saved so now with the ipsw and the latest blob we can move further now simply move the ipsw and the blob to the directory of sunstrom i have already done so also for your ease this rex file contains all the links to such as blob server tss server ipsw and python 3. if you open the ipon gfu source folder you can check it out that we have the source and the tools to put your device now into ipon gfu we have all the ipon gfu for each device for a9 and a8 a10 a11 and so on so i'm using an iphone 6 which is an a8 device so i will use this one now put your device into gfu all right so my iphone is now in gfu now open a new terminal cd into the ipon gfu of your choice drag it press enter and now type dot slash i on tfu hyphen p hyphen hyphen rm sig checks press enter now when you retry you will see device is now in pawn dfu mode removed secure rom signature checks and now you are good to go now guys you'll have to use this command to restore your device to the version you want so if you are on an a9 on an older device you will need to use this kpp switch and for a10 plus device you do not need to use the kpp switch also if you are restoring to ios 11 and lower you will need to use the legacy switch now simply open a new terminal and cd into the sunstrom directory press enter and type python 3 sunstrom dot py hyphen i open the folder and now drag and drop the ipsw here hyphen t drag and drop the blob hyphen r hyphen g and now the board config for me it is n61ap now if you are using a9 and lower device you will have to add kpp hyphen hyphen and if you want to downgrade to ios 11 and lower like on this iphone 6 add legacy okay now press enter now the process will start 
now you will see this prompt type y and type y again and now the restore process will start the sap will be downloaded and then baseband now your phone's screen will turn green and now the restore process will start now it will start sending the file system also guys if you see this FDR error please don't worry it is normal now let the process complete and now finally you will see restoring succeeded if everything went well and now your device will be stuck in DFU mode if your device is not in DFU place it in DFU mode now and then again get it into pawn DFU all right so my device is in pawn DFU now now to boot the device we will use this command now guys simply press the up arrow the only difference is instead of or we will use B and then here we will use ID ID is iPhone 7 comma 2 and then KPP as I have told you for 8n and lower and legacy for iOS 11 and lower rest of the command is 100% same press enter this will start unzipping the IPSW when this is done you will see that you can boot using boot.sh now simply type here dot slash boot dot sh press enter and now your device will start booting into the iOS that you have downgraded to now after everything is complete you can see that I am now on iOS 11.3 on this iPhone 6 if your home button is not working like on A10 and A11 devices you can use this i4 tools click this icon and then click this icon and then you can enable assistive touch from here so that you can set up your device and use it normally also guys every time you restart your device it will be stuck in DFU you will have to again get it into pawn DFU mode and then use the boot.sh command to boot your device that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will see you in a new video goodbye